his first one. Looking good. Flags are up. the target when he gets the chance he watches it carefully and he watches it go through big chair familiar result Lyle goes the number eight Nickel the captain chance to move it wide Guskin must be a try First try of this final. Great play from Bath Larlin. Look at this pass from Nickel. A superb pass. Gus got easy. And Callard, the man brought in to kick the goals, scores the simplest of tries. But that's great play by the captain, Nickel. Beats La Maison. Lovely pass off his left hand. And well, Gus got two on one there. This time, no dummy. And they've weathered that storm and they've come back and they've hit Breve. I wonder, have we seen a turning point? Kellogg composes himself, adds the two points, and Bertha right back in it. It's muscular stuff, have to admire it. Neat running. In La Maison and Vendite, they have centres of the highest quality. It's back to Peno, who's trying the long drop. Try conversion, another penalty coming, yes. Robinson can't watch, I don't think I can watch. So here it is. Over many years for his club, he's proved his worth. But he'd swap. No end of achievements for this one to go over. Callard for Bath! It's there! It's Arbizou! It's missed! Everybody needs to get there for Bath. Webster's got a hand on it. The referee checks his watch. Bath are the European champions. That has to be one of the most dramatic rugby matches of all time. The Bath players have gone delirious. The Bree players slumped to the floor they can't believe what's happened so much to take in but only one thing matters Bath have won the cup 11 out of 11 and Callard the hero what seeds Breve can't believe it they paid the price they were negative when it was there for the taking and against Bath you don't finish them off it's at your peril Bath hit back the greatest day in the club's history unbelievable scenes